Hello, faithful viewer, and here we are at the end of the first story in Stovers. We, we're going to take a, br a break this next week, and then we're going to come back with a new storyline, and we're going to start getting into more of the meaty stuff that I want to be talking about. Um, I don't really have much to tell you about this week's episode. Uh, more, more I can tell you about where it was written, which is far more interesting. Um, this year, my wonderful wife of... Uh, Oh, nearly 20 years? How old is my daughter? My daughter is... Nine, must be, we must be married 20, no, 19 years now, 20 year anniversary next year. Important tip to young married couples out there. Remember your anniversary date and how many years you've been married. Both those things are super important. How's married life treating you this time? Anyway, I, I digress. The, um... This final episode was written in Amsterdam because my wonderful wife took me there as a birthday present this year. Now, Amsterdam is a bit of a wild place, and it does tie into the strip being so weed-centric. It's If you didn't know, marijuana is insanely legal there. You can smoke weed sitting in the street, and as many people do. Uh, in certain areas, like the Red Light District, totally nobody, nobody uh, bats an island. Um, and I had one or two thoughts about Amsterdam and Holland in general and the Dutch. So you see, I sort of realized a couple of days in that the Dutch were not like us. The Dutch are not like regular normal people. The Dutch are in fact, I believe, a last remnant of a hyper-evolved species that uh, moved on from corporeal life and became beings of pure energy. So they left a small colony of physical beings behind and that's the Dutch. Off we go! To the end of the universe! <laughs> and they are just on such a, so much of a higher level than us. They toy with us like uh, like one would play with their, with a kitten, with a piece of string. Uh, for example, the Dutch language, which I have no idea what it's called. Flemish, maybe? I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's totally meaningless. It's just a random collection of sounds that they say, and they never repeat the same two sounds together. It's a very strange way to live. Jump for the wings there. Five rounds rapid. You know, I just remembered, I do have one fleeting thought about this week's episode which I want to share with you. And that is, if I am indeed going to hell, and I probably am, um... It's for something I did in this week's episode. It's the the treehouse, the uh, the secret hideout of the stoners. Um, that's based on a, a cabalistic model called the cabalistic tree of life, uh, which I always thought could look kind of funky. Lots of these little balls clicked together, representing a different sphere of existence. Uh, that's a real thing. You can Google it. You'll find it in like you know cabalistic texts everywhere, like medieval prints of it, all the, yeah, there's tons of that, that stuff. Uh, and in the end, as, as, we, as we see in this week's episode, uh, Mr. Think uh, takes it, turns it into a massive bong and gets high from it. Which really, I think, is the essence of stones. Because what I like to do, just in life in general, not just in my comics, is go from the sacred to the profane and back again. I like to take things which I like Pretty, it seems to be pretty holy, whatever holy may mean. It's a whole nother discussion. And then pull them down into like you know, the darkest, deepest parts of Earth where they are very profane. And my feeling is by doing that, you elevate both of them into a higher level. You take the holy and make it holier, and you take the profane and make it holy in of itself. This is just part of my wibbly wobbly philosophies on life. Um, as I said, next week we're taking a break for a week, but then we're coming back with a new story up. So a ton of stuff I can't wait for you to see. It, get, we get into politics a little bit and into giant rampaging beasts attacking the city, which, quite frankly, who doesn't want to see in a comic? So come on back next time in two weeks and catch a whole new episode of Stoners as we start a whole new arc. Catch you later. Bye.